What is up guys, Bad Space Wolf here, and uh, I got a rather big unboxing for you guys. Uh, some of it is, uh, actually pretty much all of it is uh, stuff I got for Christmas. Some of it, a uh, little bit of it is uh, stuff I got myself because I usually try to get myself something for Christmas. Just, I just, well I like to. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get that uh, first, the stuff I got for myself out of the way in that. And uh, Idik, you're going uh, to go holy crap. Because I uh, actually all Space Wolf players are gonna go holy crap. Because uh, uh, I got some, uh, I got some Space Wolf of goodness. Uh, first off, I got uh, Udric the Slayer. Uh, again, I love my luck with fine cast and that. And uh, you're gonna see a trend here. Yes, all of my stuff is pretty much perfect. No miscast whatsoever. The only one I have not been able to see yet, it's still in the box just because I. Don't want to open it yet, because, well, yeah. Uh, next up is uh, Tracing the Infinite, and I will be using him as another lord and that, adding him to the... I need more lords in my court, especially with how many how many warriors I have. Holy crap. And uh, here's his staff and that. Not too bad. A little, little warpage, but I can fix it a little bit. And also, it kind of looks cool if it... It kind of looks like a serpent thing. I don't know. And, uh... Next up is one of my favorite Space Wolf characters. Not just because how much of a badass he is in fluff and also on tabletop. And you're probably having an idea who I'm going with here. You know him. You love him. He was a beast in last he was a beast in the last codex. Agel, the Stormcaller. Uh and uh the detail. I know, it kind of sounds like I just had a nerdgasm. I kind of did. The, the, the detail, it's amazing. Uh, I've been wanting to get my hands on this model for so long just because, one, the detail on him. Detail. I know I sound so weird, but I can't help it. It's just so awesome. Uh, he's going to be fun to paint. And then next up is adding to my uh, Fenrisian Wolves. And, uh, I gotta say, uh, this one's actually gonna be really awesome to paint up. And, oh, uh oh. Ruh, ruh, raggy. Ah. I'm gonna have to do a hunt afterwards because, uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I got a. Ah. Sorry. Just, there's so many pieces of this guy, and I actually kind of cut him up. Uh, Cyberwolf. For my army in that and uh i can't wait to start doing him uh, uh painting him up he actually it, all all these guys like i said i love my luck with fine cast my luck with fine cast is awesome because usually i only have only little spots here and there nothing really too bad so yeah that's all the stuff i got myself for christmas and i'm gonna put all this stuff in back up uh, the Space Wolf stuff, not, uh, Trazine. Trazine is, uh, not gonna be part of the challenge. All this Space Wolf stuff in this bowl right here. Part of the painting challenge. For, uh, the New Year painting challenge. On top of that, I've got a couple other things. And I'm gonna set this bowl back over where it was at. I got some more Space Wolfy goodness. <laughs> uh, for Christmas, yesterday, I got Thunderwolf Calvary. And Venerable Dreadnought. Oh, yes. Both of these models I've been dying to paint. Especially this one just because, well, it's got my all-time favorite character in it. Bjorn. Uh, unfortunately, and it grits my teeth, and I'm, I'm about to go crying when I say this, I'm not going to be doing Bjorn. Uh, because I want to add more to my 13th company uh, character models I want to do later and also I'm only going to be um, only going to be able to two, two, do two options uh, dr uh, Venerable Dreadnought with weapon arm like this and like this I'm not going to try to do the Mauler Fang yet even though I have been reading 
up on his, I've uh, been reading and I've been hearing that he is pretty badass. And he looks it too. And the models, the they look pretty amazing. I like it. I love it. I love it a lot. <laughs> uh, the only rant I ever actually did have uh, with uh, this model right here is the other is this right here. Zoom in. This right here. Don't like that. I hated that. I'm not gonna use it. And I mean, granted, it's a nice idea because if uh, Mahler Fiend is pretty much a uh, dreadnought who's gone Marco Wolfen. I like the idea, I like the concept, but I just don't like those two head and this head option. The one and uh, it's got the it's the one that's got the skull face. <clears throat> Ooh, my voice was starting to crack there. Damn. Uh, that's it. I don't like them. I don't like either one of them. I, but that's my personal opinion. I know a lot of people like them, but I'm not gonna use them. Uh, I'm stuck either. I'm uh, deciding either between uh, this one right here, which I wish they actually did uh, do it like the original, like the uh, venerable dreadnought sarcophagus. That way you could be able to put different head options instead of like having it like this, like what they did with the Hellbrute. And that, but that's my own personal opinion. That's all awesomeness right there. Now on to the cavalry. Oh, the cavalry. I can't wait to add this to my uh, army in that because I only have one cavalry member, and that's the Wolf Lord on a Cal uh, Thunderwolf cavalry mount. Uh, and I use him for my uh, Thunderwolf cavalry member. And uh, having. Three more to add to that is always nice, especially since, well, last time I used him and that he got picked apart. The poor guy. He never even got the chance to go into close combat and rip people's faces apart. It was so sad. It was a sad day for Space Wolf Kind. That's all I gotta say. But I can't wait to start painting these guys up too. Uh, these guy, uh, this set and the dreadnought set i know it sounds like a tall order to do but with how i do my paint schemes and that the only two that are going to probably take the longest actually three that's going to take the longest is this just because how i dry uh, with how i do my dry brushing in that and uh nigel definitely and Ulrich because Ulrich i am going to paint up uh of course like i'm going to use him as a wolf priest because uh, until I uh, get the bits and that to be able to do the conversion I want to do for my wolf priest. So, that being said, here we go. The last thing I got, and you're probably guessing what it, where this trend has been going, especially with what I got for the New Year's challenge. Yes, I got it. I got my codex. And I will uh, do a fluff talk on this, uh, not rules talk. Uh, because that's been done by a lot of people. And I talk about fluff. I like the fluff for armies. That's what draws me to doing an army. And that now I know what you're going to say. Well, what may. Uh, about the Necron stuff. And I can see the jokes now. Don't. Don't. I like them before Matt Ward touched them. What Matt Ward has done with them is a disgrace and it's a black mark for neck on kind that is all i gotta say on that but moving on <laughs> uh this uh that's what always draws me it's this is what drawed me to the space wolves and that, especially when i first started in that uh mo not just because i'm a big fan of wolves i love wolves and uh seeing the name space wolves oh that's cool and then reading more about them is like oh this is so awesome they're space vike they're uh outer space vikings and that and also they're werewolves this is awesome and then also reading, and when I was reading more and more about them and that, I fell more in love with them and that's how they became my starter army. And that's how Bad Space Wolf got to start with the wolves. That is how all this craziness started. You're welcome. <laughs> so there you guys have it. I have a lot of stuff ahead for, ahead for the 2011. Now I got some unboxings and that to still show off in that. I... Not showing off, uh, I was going to show off a couple of them in this too, but they're pretty much painted up. And also their presents for uh, some people I know. 
and I know they watch my channel. I don't want them to see it. They know they're going to be getting something in that, but they, I don't want them to see what it is. So there you guys have it. That's all the stuff I got over Christmas. Uh, I hope your guys' uh, Christmas was uh, great. I know I didn't say that now, but again, I hope it was awesome in that. And I apologize I didn't uh, wish you guys a Merry Christmas yesterday and that I got kind of caught up with this stuff. And especially reading my decks, the new decks and that. Oh, boy. I'm going to talk about it. It's uh, There's no going to be no rants. You're not going to see the Viking get pissed. I thought I was going to get pissed. But reading over it and doing compar uh, some comparisons with my old decks, it's not too bad. I'm, like I said, it's going to be in its own separate video. So there you guys have it. That's all I got. Uh, you'll be seeing this Space Wolf stuff uh, beginning of next year in that. It's going to be all primed in that. Ready to go. Uh, for painting challenge. It's going to be awesome can't wait guys so hope you guys enjoyed this video uh please comment like and sub smash space with fear peace